The congregation was now assembled. Inside the Venerable Abbey, its ancient stones compact of England's history, Mackenzie King, Smuts, the High Commissioners of Australia and New Zealand, mingled with members of the cabinet and him who led us all to victory. Thunderous cheering outside announced the arrival of the Irish coach bearing the royal pride. At the high altar by the Archbishop of Canterbury, the heiress to the throne and the Duke of Edinburgh were proclaimed man and wife. The great-great-grandchildren of Queen Victoria were joined together in holy matrimony. The two branches of a great family diverged for more than a hundred years, were now, by the compelling power of true love, joined once more in the common stream. The sacred atmosphere of the beautiful service was carried far over the earth by radio. The princess and the bridegroom were heard throughout the English-speaking world. The marriage certificate bears the signatures of five kings and representatives of all the royal houses of Europe. A trumpet fanfare announced the bride and groom. Yeah. 